All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to talk to you about two very important linear transformations that are useful enough, well, I don't know the applications of it, but, um, and I would just like to study it a little bit from a linear algebra perspective. And those are what are called the right shifts and left shifts operators. So let V be the vector space of sequences, you know, on with real values. So let's, for example, you have this set, sequence one, two, three, four, five, six, or, you know, I don't know, the one, the geometric sequ sequence, one, one over two squared, one over two cubed, etc., etc. Or my favorite one, I call it the SIA sequence, because it's one, two, three, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, three, that, 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 okay, I'm not gonna sing it, but this is SIA sequence. And what I like to define are two very cool linear transformations, which are, as I said, the right shift and the left shift. So define R from V to V, be the following. It takes a sequence, A1, A2, A3, and just shifts it to the right. So it's 0, A1, A2, A3, da, da, da. So for example, the right shift of 1, 2, 3, da, 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 is just 0, 1, 2, 3, da, da, da. And of course, there's a left shift, L, V, V, and that just takes a1, a2, da, 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 and shifts it one unit to the left. So a2, a3, da, da, da. So for example, in contrast, the left shift of one, two, three, something, something, it's two, three, four, something, something. So again, this one takes a sequence shifts it to the right, this one takes a sequence and shifts it to the left. And what we like to study is just a couple of properties. So, first of all, you can show, it's a kind of tedious exercise, that R and L, they're linear transformations, so you can study them with linear algebra. And now, for example, let me study like one-to-oneness and onto-ness of R and L. So, first of all, let's study R. Well, I'm actually claiming that R is one-to-one, -one, but R is not onto. But not onto. All right, how do you show a linear transformation is one-to-one? -one? Show that it's null space is trivial. So suppose R of A1, A2, dot, 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 gives you the zero sequence. Then, if you shift R to the right, you get zero, A1, A2, da, 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 equals zero, zero, zero. And now you can compare, A1 is zero, A2 is zero, and actually every AI is zero. So A1, A2, is just a zero sequence. It's one thing, so that's why it's not one to one, but sorry, it's one to one, but it's not on to because let's look at this range. Not every sequence is of this form. For example, this sequence one zero 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 is not in the range, so not on to because our the range so the. <laughs> Bad notation, but the range you write it usually has R, so R of R is not V. So maybe let me just clarify. The range of R is not all of V because, um, for example, the vector 1, 0, 0, 0 is not of the form 0, A1, A2, dot, dot, dot. So that's, by the way, a very interesting example of a linear transformation that's one-to-one -one but not onto, which is weird because there's a theorem that says if 
the input space and the output space have the same dimension, then one to one is equivalent to onto. But this is only true for finite dimensions. So be very careful. Now, what about L? Well, I'm claiming that for L is the opposite. So maybe let's erase this. All right, so for L, so claim. L is not one to one, but it's on to. All right, so to show it's not one to one, you have to show me one vector which gives you the zero sequence at the end. So you have to show me that the null space is non trivial. Where, for example, can consider L of one, zero, zero, zero. You see, this is a non zero sequence. But by definition, L shifts things to the left, and you get 0, 0, 0, 0, which is the zero sequence. So there's a non-trivial sequence with L of that sequence is 0. Therefore, the null space of L is non-zero. <laughs> I can write it as null, null of L is 0. Or some people write it with two L's, so no. <laughs> no zero. All right, so this is not one to one, but it is on to because suppose I give you a random sequence in the space output. So suppose B1, I give you B1, B2 up to whatever. Then B1, B2 is actually of the form L of A1 up to A2, A2 da 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 where what is A1 and A2? For example, you can have, I don't know, uh, zero, B1, B2, da, da, da. So in other words, maybe let me erase this part, we get this random arbitrary sequence is of the form L of something, namely L of zero, B1, B2, da, da, da. So. Any sequence is in the range of L, so it is on to. So range of L. Oh, which is also bad notation because R might be right shift. So range of L is all of E. So it is on to. So that's very interesting. R is one to one, but not on to, and L is not one to one, but on to. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is, how do they mix? Well, it turns out they, one of them mixes quite nicely, the other one, no, not at all. So for example, let's calculate, I don't know, RL of A1, A2, da, da, da. What does that mean? This is R of, so you shift it to the left, A2, A3, da, 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 which is, 0, a2, a3, da, 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 which is not our original sequence. So in other words, rl is not the identity. However, let's calculate lr, a1, a2, da, 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 that's l, of you shift it to the right, 0, A1, A2. And then you shift it to the left, A1, A2, da, 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 which is the identity. So what's interesting is, even though RL is not the identity, LR is. And again, this is very different from finite dimensional things in general, if you have two matrices A and B of the same size, and you have AB is the identity, then it follows that BA is the identity. And the reason for this is for two matrices of the square matrices of the same size, if AB is the identity, it follows B is A inverse, and therefore BA, which is A inverse A, which is the identity but very wrong in infinite dimensional spaces. 
All right, so that's cool. And lastly, since I'm talking about eigenvalues and stuff, let's also find the eigenvalues of R and L. Something what's called, if you like spectral theory, it's a point spectrum. So I'll do the point spectrum. I won't really do the spectrum here. I don't remember what the answer is, but uh, let's calculate the eigenvalues of R, for example. So suppose R of A1, A2, dot, dot, dot. It's lambda, A1, A2, dot, dot, dot. So this means 0, A1, A2, it's lambda A1, lambda A2. So what does that mean? It means 0 equals lambda A1, A1 is lambda A2, and then A2 is lambda A3. All right, and we just have to distinguish between lambda equals zero and lambda equals non-zero. So if lambda is non-zero, this means that um, we can actually solve for A1. We get A1 equals zero, and then A2, it's one over lambda A1, which is zero. And eventually you get that all the AIs are zero. So if lambda is non-zero, the only eigenvector, a1, a2, dot, 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 is just the zero vector. Which means that there are no non-zero eigenvalues. So this is, technically speaking, not an eigenvector. So really, the only possible eigenvalue is the zero one. And let's solve separately, if you want, for the null space. So R of A1, A2, dot, 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 equals to 0, 0, 0. This means 0, A1, A2, dot, 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 it's uh, 0. And in particular, comparing, we get still A1 is 0, A2 is 0. Da, da, da. So our vector, a1, a2, da, 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 is the zero sequence. Which also means there are no eigenvalues of corresponding to zero. In other words, um, r turns out has no eigenvalues. No eigenvalues whatsoever. Not even in the real case, not even in the complex case, and which is very different from um, yeah, it's it's very different from like the real case. At least you know over the complex numbers, every uh, uh, matrix has an eigenvalue because the characteristic equation has at least one root. But here, unfortunately, not the case. Uh, however, let's now look at the eigenvalues of L. By the way, so even though sort of the eigen, there are no eigenvalues, I believe there are uh, the spectrum is still non-trivial. So uh, I think there are some cases where you know r minus lambda i is onto, like uh, I guess not onto, which for example, uh, yeah, for, for example, zero would be I think in the spectrum because r itself is not onto. So. All right, but now let's talk about eigenvalues of L. And we'll see something interesting happen. So eigenvalues of L. So suppose L of A1, A2, dot, dot, dot. It's lambda times A1, A2, dot, dot, dot. So what this means is that A2, A3, La 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 equals lambda a1, lambda a2. So in other words, what does that mean? So a2, it's lambda a1. a3, it's lambda a2. So again, just as before, uh, or I guess do we even need that? So um, no, actually, we I thought we have to separate out the cases. Well, let's see. 
Uh, no, so it turns out we don't even need to separate out the case lambda equals zero or not because no matter which value lambda is, what is this saying? It says that a1, a2, a3, a1 is just a1, then a2 is lambda a1, a3 it's lambda a2, which is lambda lambda a1, which is lambda squared a1. And you can just continue. The next one is lambda cube a1. And notice um, there is a, a common factor of a1, which tells you that um, this thing, so a1 times 1, lambda, lambda squared, lambda cube, dot, dot, dot. And in other words, what this is actually saying, it's super interesting. First of all, every eigenvalue, every real number or even complex number is an eigenvalue of L. And also the corresponding eigenspace is just one dimensional, it's just spanned by this vector. And in fact, let's check this. Let's check this directly if you're in case you're not convinced. What is L of 1, lambda, lambda squared, lambda cube, da, da, da. Well, that is, you shift it to the left, lambda, lambda squared, lambda cube, da, da, da. And that's precisely lambda times 1, lambda, lambda, lambda squared, da, da, da. By the way, I did not prefer for this whatsoever, so I'm a bit surprised that we have this result, but it is true. And so this is lambda times this vector. So in other words, if you let this be the vector v, then lv equals lambda v. So in particular for l, what's interesting is every value is an eigenvalue. So in this case, the spectrum for sure is all real numbers or all complex numbers, depending what field you are in. So it's kind of cool. It's like one of them has no eigenvalues, the other one has every single eigenvalue, which is not clear at all from the definition, but it is true. And with this, that's all I really know about those. So with this, I would like to conclude. So if you like this, and if you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.